Regarding the travel advice, um, we usually advise passengers who are traveling through Dubai Airport to follow the, uh, the hygiene advice that were announced by the, uh, the health authorities. Uh, the most important advice is to, to keep the hand hygiene, to sanitize your hand or wash the hands regularly, avoid uh, touching uh, common uh, areas, surfaces, and then touching your face, especially eyes, nose, and mouth, and to, uh, to be careful when sneezing or when coughing, uh, it is usually advised to use either a handkerchief or to cover your nose and mouth. And that is all to prevent spread of, uh, uh, of infection. When travelers are traveling into Dubai um, uh, through the airports, uh, we usually perform two kinds of screening. The first one is the thermal scanning and uh, all the passengers traveling into Dubai will undergo the thermal scanning. Uh, the scanners are done through uh, a remote camera and uh, the temperature is being uh, measured through the device. So there is no actual contact between the device and the passenger. They just have to walk through the area of screening. Uh, the other test that is being done uh, currently at the airport, uh, it's the, uh, the laboratory testing where we actually have specified the countries of concern and passengers traveling into Dubai from these countries will undergo a, a laboratory test where a sample from the nasal secretion is being collected and uh, it's being tested in the laboratory. Now, passengers who undergo the laboratory test are, uh, are advised to, uh, to uh, go ahead and can leave the airport and go back home. We usually advise them to stay at home until their lab results are out, which is, uh, uh, which is usually within 24 hours. Now, if their lab results are negative uh, or positive, they are usually informed by the public health department at Dubai Health Authority. Negative results, they can, uh, they can perform their daily routine active life. Uh, positive results, they will be advised to, uh, to come in and for further treatment and investigation by, the, by our physicians at the hospitals. People who are planning to travel to countries of concern and then they decide to come back to Dubai, uh, then they should expect that uh, a 14-day current time will be implemented. And this is actually to guarantee their safety, the safety of their families and of their community. Uh, now, during this current time, uh, they will be uh, contacted regularly by, uh, by medical staff and they will be tested to assure their safety and their well-being. Uh, people who are traveling to countries that are not listed uh, as a country of concern, uh, we just advise to follow the regular uh, guidelines of, uh, of preventing the spread of infection through hand hygiene and through avoiding crowded areas and avoiding uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the sneezing and the coughing. The quarantine or the home quarantine will be implemented on, on passengers who are traveling from countries of concern. Now, the countries of concern are usually listed online uh, uh, according to the, uh, to the results of, uh, that are published by every country on the website of the World Health Organization. Now, the reason why we cannot specify uh, in, uh, we, what are these countries is because the list changes regularly. Uh, but we will announce um, uh, every day the, uh, the concerned uh, countries so that people would be aware of uh, whether or not they have to be screened. Uh, also, for travelers who are uh, concerned about uh, uh, whether or not they will, they will perform the screening or the quarantine, we do have a call center in Dubai Health Authority where they can contact us and we will give them all the information that they need to know about their travel. Quarantine is uh, actually for all age groups. Uh, simply because the, uh, the COVID-19 virus can, uh, can affect uh, children and adults. Uh, uh, usually children are not kept alone, they would be uh, with their parents and uh, clear instruction will be given to them by the medical team who would be advising them on what to do during the 14 uh, day period. You know, because it depends on what they have. Because sometimes in the current time, it's not just COVID-19, maybe they have other coexisting diseases like diabetes, hypertension, or any other disease. So they will be uh, getting the uh, medical support continuously.